Hey everybody, it's Andy with Boltworks today, and in this episode we're going to cover the, uh, the first project in our Christmas series. We're going to be making this little tug. Hope you enjoy it. So before we jump into it, let's kind of go over real quick what we're going to need for materials and for tools. Now to start, you're, you're going to need two pieces of wood. And whether you have solid chunks uh, like this, or you have to you know, take some smaller pieces and laminate them together, you know, it really doesn't matter. Um, if, if you do laminate them, you can, uh, you can kind of get some cool designs if you use some interesting woods. But uh, however you do it, you know, it really uh, whatever works best for you. But generally speaking, you're going to need two pieces. And the first one's going to be roughly two inches thick by four inches wide and 11 inches long. This is going to be used for the hull. And the second piece uh, needs to be roughly seven inches wide by five inches long by an inch and a half thick. Now we're going to end up coming in and cutting this in half and laminating it together because really I, I didn't have a, a solid chunk of wood uh, that's you know, large enough to, to use as a block for the, for the pilot house and for the smokestack. But, um, so I'm going to cut this in half and laminate it up. Now, with that out of the way, now you need to think about, well, how are you going to cut this? And you, if you have a bandsaw, that's, uh, that's ideal. Um, but if you don't, you can also use a coping saw. If you end up you know, needing to use a coping saw, maybe look at using a, a softwood, um, you know, pine and cedar, for example. Uh, I'm going to be using you know, the two same woods that I used on, on, uh, on the, the first tug, which is white ash and teak. But um, I'm also going to be cutting this on a bandsaw. <laughs> but, Beyond that, uh, really all you're going to need then is a, is a drill and some sandpaper uh, is going from 80 grit up to 220 and whatever kind of finish you want to use. I used beeswax on here because I wasn't sure if it was going to be uh, a, a toy or if it was going to be you know, strictly decorative. So I used beeswax just in case it ended up being a toy. I wanted it to be kid safe. Uh, but spray lacquer is something, I've always, is something else that I've used and that works very well. Um, you know, really anything you want, water-based, oil-based, you know, what, uh, whatever you have handy and, and uh, whatever works for you. So to get started, the first thing that we need to do is cut the profiles out, or at least the rough profiles out on these pieces of wood. And to help out with that, I've, I've drawn these, uh, you know, the, the, the profile of the tug. You know, this gives me the, the hull uh, up here as well as the, the top side up here. And I've made two copies, and I'm going to end up, I'm going to cut these out and glue each profile onto the pieces of wood so we have essentially a template to follow. So now with all these pieces cut out, we're going to glue these uh, cutouts onto the pieces of wood so we have our templates to, uh, to cut on. Now I did, uh, because I printed off two copies, I had one cutout for the silhouette of the hull, the, uh, uh, another cutout for what's going to be the cabin top, and then the, the side profile of the hull itself. So I've got, and I separated the, uh, the, the pilot house from the hull here. So I'll get this glued up and we'll, uh, we'll start cutting things up.
So I've taken this piece of wood that was originally five by seven by an inch and a half thick, and I've cut it into really two pieces that are now roughly uh, five by three by, well, it's gonna be a little thicker than my knee, but now it's actually three inches thick. So I'm gonna glue these up like this so that the, the end grains are you know, kind of uh, mirrored, and uh, we're gonna let this sit for a little bit. So now with this piece glued up and drying, I'm gonna walk over to the bandsaw and get this cut out.
So it took a little bit of monkeying around to get the, the curve on, on the bottom of the, of the wheelhouse to actually match the curve that's, that's on the, the top of the hull here. But that's just a matter of working it with some sandpaper and uh, you know, just taking your time and, and uh, making it fit. So what I'm gonna be doing next is now that I've got everything roughed out, I've been using 80 grit sandpaper this whole time to, to kind of get things shaped and, and uh, just kind of roughed in. So now that uh, I, I think I've, I've uh, got everything shaped the way that I like it, you know, it just it looks nice and it looks natural, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue the wheelhouse down on top of the, uh, on top of the hull and let that uh, set up. Then I'm gonna come in and cut the angles off of the side so that the, the, front, of the, the, the front windshield actually has some, uh, some angles to it, some definition. Just kind of jazz it up a little bit. So now I want to get the, uh, get the chimney stack, get that put on. And I, like I said, I, I cut this out and all I did after I cut it out square was I just came in and sanded a little bit of a bevel on, uh, on each of these, uh, each side up on the top, towards the top to kind of give it a little bit of a taper. Okay, so now I've got the, the, the chimney's been all cut out and shaped and it's, it's ready to glue on. But before I glue it on, I want to uh, I want to cut the the bevels on the uh, on the sides of these uh, on you know basically making some flanking windows here. So to do that, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball it, and I'm going to take a straight edge, and I'm going to draw a point. You know, if if this is center, I'm going to draw a point roughly uh, halfway between center and this point, and take that back to about halfway back on the window on both sides. So now I just connect the dots. And you know, I take a look, make sure it looks uh, you know, somewhat symmetrical. And if it does, then I'll go ahead and I'll cut them out. So I've got that angle cut. So now I'm just going to rest the blade on this on this front cabin and get it started and then follow it around. There we go. If there's any kind of a lip left on here, you know, on this edge right here, that just sand it off. We got windows. So now at this point, I'm just going to do a little bit more sanding, round off these uh, the little lips that are left here from the sides that I just cut off, round over the tops and the backs, and then uh, time to put the smokestack on. I'm going to leave that set for a little bit and then we'll, uh, while this is gluing, then I'm going to start uh, just kind of cutting out real quick the spotlight that goes up on the top and the, uh, the towing bit that went on the stern. So after a half hour, we should be ready to give it a final sanding and apply a finish. 
So here I've just cut out two squares, one out of teak and one out of the, the white ash. And I'm just gonna take it and uh, rub it across the paper, the, the 80 grit paper here, just to get shape it a little bit. And uh, then it'll be ready to glue on. All right, so here's what I did. I, I, I took a piece of the ash, or the, the light colored, and just kind of shaped it, uh, you know, kind of like this. Gave it a, a flat bottom and a flat face. That's going to be facing forward. And I used the light color wood on top of the darker wood, again, because I like contrast. And for the, for the back here, I used a piece of teak, which is the darker wood on top of the light. And I just, well, just cut a little chunk off and round it over the, the two edges and, the, and each end. So pretty basic. It uh, took about five minutes to do both of them. And I'm ready to start gluing it in. Make sure I get it centered. Five, ten seconds, you know, you hold it, it, it it's not set at all, but I mean, at least, at least it'll stay in place. So I'll, uh, I can let off now, and then I'll come around and clean off the excess glue, and I'll let the whole thing sit again for maybe, yeah, maybe another 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll uh, start giving, uh, giving the, uh, the, the boat itself a, a final sanding. There we are. There's our uh, there's our finished but unfinished tug, and I, it it turned out pretty nice. You know, it uh, all in all, I think I actually had about about four hours of actual working time on this, and this is one of those projects where, you know, honestly, it would be just as easy to do three or four at the same time as it would to, as it would to do one. Um, you know, I'd say if if this is a project you you feel like trying. You know, probably try one uh, the, the first day, and then once you kind of have uh, the, the quirks down, uh, the next day, I, I, I think you could easily get three, possibly four of them turned out, you know, in that same day after you've, uh, after you've already gone through the process once, but. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this. It was, uh, these were a lot of fun to make, and I hope you give it some thought or some consideration for this, uh, for this Christmas. Now, really, the way, that, the way that I have them, I guess, finished off right now, uh, they're, they're kind of a blank slate. I mean, really, the, the sky is the limit as far as other things that you could do with these to, you know, to kind of dress them up if you wanted them to be something more than, uh, you know, just kind of a, a basic tug. One, uh, one thought that I've, that I've had was to uh, you know take some hemp rope, uh, you know the thin stuff, and braid it, and actually uh, you know take and and uh, drape them, you know across uh, across the sides. Most tugs have that or something along those lines. I think that'd look very sharp. Uh, one other thing that a person could do would be to you know take some thinner uh, strips of of wood, you know maybe the darker wood, you know because you'd you'd be putting them on the on the hull here. But take some some uh, thin strips, and actually run a uh, a little a little rub rail or a tow rail, kind of on on each side, and at uh, you know say an inch back from the front and in uh, you know and an inch from both sides, and you know again just another thing to dress it up. One other thing you could do if you wanted to add some highlight or some detail, you could come in and actually paint some little, uh, take some white or some silver, paint some little windows in here. And, uh, you know, in the classic, if you're, uh, give, if you're making it for somebody, personalize it. Write their name up on the bow here. Just cool little things that you could do. This is, uh, this is really just the beginning of, of you know, what, what kind of options you have. So, uh, again, I, I really hope someone tries this. And if you do, 
uh, please send me some pictures. I'd, I'd love to see how they turn out. Um, I, again, it, it was a, a fun project. I, uh, I really enjoyed doing this. I hope you do too.